Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, we are going to talk about um, on the Ruckus ICX auto interface disable on inbound errors uh, or what we call packet in error detection. So basically if you have uplink ports, usually redundant uplinks, or you have multiple ports in a lag and you're worried about um, errors causing issues. So for example, CRC errors or alignment errors or, or, or giants or runts or anything like that. Um, if you're worried about packets being dropped causing you network instability, then this is the feature you need to use. So essentially what it does is it's going to count the number of inbound errors you get within an interval and if it exceeds that threshold, it will hold that port down either permanently and you manually have to bring it down and back up or more likely on a time basis. So after say 20 seconds or 30 seconds or whatever the case, it'll bring it back up, look again for more errors and then bring it down if, it, if the issue reoccurs. But um, those are all options. So let's have a look at how that works. So in order to set this up, um, what we're going to do is we need to um, turn it on on the interface. So I'm going to go to the interface and you generally don't want to run this on all of your interfaces, right? You want to run it on redundant uplinks or on, on lag ports um, to check for errors, right? Something that if you disable this port, you're not going to connect, uh, lose connectivity to the, you know, to the rest of the network. Um, so we'll go into config T. I'll go into the interface I want to turn it on. I could do multiple interfaces at a time, but in this case I'm not going to. I'm going to do 131, which is my fiber uplink. And then the command to turn it on is packet in error detect. Uh, and then you need to set an interval. So the interval here is how many packets are going to trigger the state, right? So minimum 10 packets up to you know, some massive number of packets, but we'll just stick with the minimum. So we're going to say 10. So that's all I need to do from an interface perspective. So once it hits 10 packets within a, um, within, within your threshold or within your interval value, then it's going to hold that port down. So, uh, so that's on the port level. So now I need to set up my error disable, uh, um, section, right? So, uh, error disable is used for many, many things. Actually, let me show you all the things it's used for. So if we do a show error disable, um, uh, let's see, recovery, you'll see that error disable is used for things like BPDU guard, loop detect, um, you know, the, the packet in error, which is what we're doing right now. Um, you know, uh, broadcast or multicast or unknown unicast thresholds. Uh, so several things are used. So here you can see, you can configure all of those um, uh, individually. So we see that packet in error is disabled at the moment, right? And then if there were any ports uh, uh, being held down by error disable, you'd see them here, what interface, what reason, and how much time left is in that hold down. So we'll look at that in a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to configure this. So uh, it's error disable, and then uh, we're going to do a, a uh, so it's so it's packet in error detect, right? And then this is our sampling interval. So um, this is the number of seconds in that sample, right? So we set 10 packets, so it's 10 packets within two seconds, three seconds, 60 seconds, whatever the case. We'll just choose three seconds here. Um, then we're going to set uh, error disable recovery options. So recovery, uh, and then the first thing we're going to do is set a cause. So what causes it to, to error disable? So um, this is going to be our packet dash in error dash detect is what's going to what we're what we're going to uh, configure or what we're worried about at the moment. And then our um, error disable recovery. So how long before it recovers, right? So once it gets held down, what's our interval to recover and try again? So um, let's see. This can be anything from you know 10 seconds to 65535. 
the default is 300 seconds. So it's going to hold your port down for 300 seconds, bring it back up, you know, and re-go through this process of looking for uh, 10 packets within three seconds. And it has to go through two intervals to hold that port down. So uh, we will just say, we'll say 20 seconds. It's going to hold it down. So look at our config here. We have set up our uh, detect. So this is um, a three second interval. So it's 10 packets within three seconds, right? Because we set the, the 10 packets down here. The cause of the recovery. So this is this is under that um, that uh, error disable recovery that we looked at before the show error, error disable recovery. Um, so error disable uh, is set up for for packet in error detect and then the interval is 20 seconds. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, if we look at, yeah, we'll look at show error disable summary. Um, okay. Uh, recovery. So we now see that packet in error is enabled, right, for the timer, and there's nothing being held down still. So I'm going to hop over to my other switch that's connected to me, and I am going to just ping this switch, but I'm going to ping it with a jumbo frame, right? So these are going to be these are going to show as in errors on the interface. So I'm just going to let that run, and uh, actually, what we'll do is. We'll have it log console so we see the error message show up. So as I said, it's going to go through that interval, you know, a couple of times before it holds it down. And we will see that hold down show up. So here we just saw this the, the uh, interface go down. And the interface went down because it was error disabled due to the number of in errors exceeded the threshold. Um, so that will be held down for 20 seconds now. So you can see um, port 131, uh, packet in error, and time left was four seconds. So since then, it's brought that port back up, and it's going to rerun that threshold. So obviously, in a production environment, you don't want you don't want that port flapping up and down. You want to set larger threshold values than I am doing right now. Um, but for demonstration purposes, the other thing we can look at. Let me turn off the login console for a second. Uh, the other thing we can look at while it's being held down is we'll do a show interface E131. And so right now it's up, but as soon as it hits that threshold again, there we go. So we see that interface is now, if you do a show interface E131, we can now see that 131 is error disabled due to packet in error and it's line protocol down. Right, so you can see it in multiple ways. You can use the show error disable um, uh, summary. You can do a show error disable uh, recovery, or you can see it on the interface. Or lastly, you'll be able to look at it. And if you do a show log, you're going to see that port uh, going up and down in the log, as well as the uh, due to error disable stats. So, you know, again, the the I chose a uh, a very short interval. Um, and, a, and a small number of packets, you're going to want to increase that in production. But this is going to protect you from, you know, corrupted packets. So if you've got corrupted packets coming in, bad CRC, your switch can start to miss things like spanning tree BPDUs and can cause a loop in the network because of bad packets. So this will protect you from a situation like that. Anyway, thanks very much and have a great day.